Now for the latest local news, sports and weather, Pulse of the News, and Vince Leonard. Good evening, everyone. Central City businessmen are a trusting and careless lot. Police statistics on unlocked doors disclosed today. From the 1st of January through July, police from three Central City police stations who patiently pry doors during the wee small hours found 322 of them unlocked. Commenting on these statistics, Police Commissioner Tom Gibbons said they indicated police alert. That's fine as far as it goes, he added, but any businessman who relies on the police to lock his doors for him is foolish. Gibbons said if the police can pry doors, so can thieves, and someday they may get there first. There are generally two major topics of conversation around most homes these days. One, how soon winter may show her face, and the other, the return to school. For the beginners, as we showed yesterday, it's the start of an exciting adventure. But for many of those who've had a taste of it, it's something to get used to gradually at the beginning of each school term. And an easy approach it is for these youngsters at the Center City School at the YWCA. No sooner does school start than they are down for a swim. However, it is educational in that the supervised swimming lessons given by Agnes Phillips, the Director of Health, Physical Education, and Recreation. The discussion of school and its activities seems to get an overabundance of publicity from both the kids and the communication media during the first month, but considering its importance, it deserves the attention. A definite emphasis has been put on the school systems across the country this past year, just what their teachers and the physical plants have to offer. Tonight, uh, we'd like to discuss one of those issues, the teachers who instruct the students. And for a first-hand report on that situation in the Philadelphia schools, We've invited the superintendent of public schools, Dr. Alan Wetter, to be with us this evening. Dr. Wetter. Good evening, Vance. Very nice to have you with us. And uh, would you tell us the situation in the Philadelphia schools concerning the teacher shortage? Well, as you've indicated, across the country, most systems are still facing a serious shortage. And, of course, we in Philadelphia, I'm sorry to say, are not an exception. We have some 8,300 fine, dedicated teachers, but we have also about 650 vacancies. And these vacancies, of course, are filled by qualified substitute teachers, but we like to see them filled with permanent teachers. In which uh, fields, Dr. Water, is the uh, shortage particularly acute? Well, it's fairly well divided. Uh, senior high schools have about 129 vacancies. The vocational is about 46. Junior high schools, 191. Elementary is 173. And the special classes, 126. And down the kindergarten is 20. And, of course, as far as the subject matter fields are concerned, at the senior high school level, and I suppose you're interested in that right. especially, we have about seven vacancies in art and 13 in English. That's surprising. We generally have English teachers, home ec two, languages four, mathematics, as might be expected. There are 26 vacancies at the present time. Music and physical education are some. Science, about 11 vacancies, as compared with 29 in that area at the junior high school level. And then we need physical education persons and shop people, too. Do you feel, then, perhaps, Dr. Wetter, that there's been too much press put on science in the past year because of the world situation? Well, no, I don't think you can have too much stress upon science. I think our people ought to be well informed, and those who are going on to college certainly ought to have a fine background in the field of science. One of the difficulties is that business and industry, with whom we certainly want to cooperate fully, and uh, who are just to have more science and math teachers at the present time are saying that the science and math teacher, if you come over to us, we'll pay you more money. And believe me, that's difficult competition. Dr. Wetter, recently it was announced that the Philadelphia Public Schools are going to uh, begin offering uh, uh, courses in the Russian language. Now, have you had many applications for positions since that announcement? Well, I think at least 50 people have come to my attention, persons who wanted to teach Russian. But I'd like to point out that in order to teach in the schools of Pennsylvania, one must be fully qualified. He must have his degree. He must have certification. He must be able to teach. It isn't enough, uh, perhaps, just to know Russian or to know anything else. One must be able to get it across. We're very carefully screening those who are interested in it, and we shall certainly keep our certification requirements at the highest level. And when we do begin next February in the day schools, I hope we'll be able to Perhaps some of our own language teachers who are now taking Russian lessons will be able to work in this field. But Dr. Wetter, one last question. Are you uh, considering or are you wanting to bring teachers out of retirement to get them back in the field? 
Yes, we'd like to have teachers return from retirement if possible. Of course, our retirement age is 68, but if people have retired prior to 68, we'd be very happy to have them come back again. Well, Dr. Winter, thank you very much for being with us this evening. You're welcome. And I'll be back with more news in just a moment, but first, this message. This is the plant that makes the soups, tailors the soups, quality soups, lets the win and watch them make a ride of our Webster field. This is the place that sells the soups, handsome soups, quality soups, lets go in and see the great selection of Webster field. Westerfield. America's greatest suit value is Westerfield all wool flannels. Made and sold only by Robert Hall. Every brand new style impeccably tailored. Westerfield all wool flannels only $31.95 at Robert Hall. And in worsteds, see the fine Royal Hall and luxurious golden emblem suits at low, low prices. And alterations are included at Robert Hall. <laughs> 